beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fatina, I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I'm here to bring you my next update on my Project Level Up. I'm so excited to share this with you. Project Level Up has quickly become one of my favorite project pans that I'm currently doing. You want to see how I'm doing on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm currently on level six. So if you want to see how I'm going and then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, if you're on your own here and you love watching eyeshadow project pans or any other project panning content, make sure you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the update. So I have been working on Modern Renaissance now for, we'll be going now into our second month. No, into our third month. Yes, the month that I, last month was the second month working on this palette. I am currently on level six. So my goal for level six is to hit pan on six shades and also use every shade in the palette six times. For those of you that are new to Project Level Up, it was created by Sophie Alexandra. The whole premise of Project Level Up is it's an eyeshadow based project pan and you need to progress up through the levels and there is a usage goal to the project and there's also a hit pan goal. So each level you progress up, uh, it gets more and more difficult. So depending on what level you're on, if you start at level one, for example, you need to use every single eyeshadow in your palette at least once and you need to hit pan on one shadow in that palette. Then when you progress to two, it moves on to two uses on every shadow and hitting pan on two shadows and so on and so on till you get to level six, which is what I'm currently on. So last month, you may remember, I did manage to hit three pans in the palette and I still had, I think, two shadows left that I hadn't reached my usage goal yet. So this is what the palette looked like last month. Last month, I believe I hit pan on Rialga, Vermeer and Primavera. So those ones were fairly easy, in my opinion, to hit pan on. That left me with Bonfresco, Venetian Red and Antique Bronze to hit pan on. And I still had usages required for Tempera and Antique Bronze. And this is what the palette is looking like today so you may see some differences showing in this palette and you may see two more dots of silver which is very exciting so i'm happy to report i have hit two additional pans i still have one remaining pan left and it is the shadow that i thought it would be it is antique bronze that i still have to hit pan on which is this one here but as you can see i am starting to make some progress on it and we're starting to notice Bit of a dip showing in there, so I'm hopeful that I can hit pan on that one fairly quickly. I have discovered a way that I like to wear this shadow. I don't, I still don't, I'm still not in love with this shadow, but I've found a way to get some usage out of it. And it, it is like a double benefit for me because I have been pairing it with my caviar stick that I currently have in my partners in cream so I put the caviar stick on my lid and then I'll add antique bronze on the outer corner to add some like depth to the look so all that being said let's go through our usages and see how we're going on that I haven't really used many shades extra if that makes sense like compared to what they were already sitting out in terms of usages so starting off with tempera which is this one up in the corner here so last month i had zero uses on this one and i am happy to report that i did hit my six uses on this one and i managed to finish that usage goal today i have been using it as like my lid setting shade i don't love this one i find i'm not a big lover of highlighting my brow bone um, I just feel like, I just feel like for me, it doesn't suit me. I don't love the way it looks. And I just feel like with tempera, there's just a little bit too much sparkle in it for my liking. But I do think that maybe I could just get over it a little bit and maybe have that one used up because there's not much left in the pan. And I think if I actually just dedicated maybe like a month or two on it I might be able to have it completely used up so I'm, I'm toying with that idea my other idea is I'm toying with maybe potentially frankening it a little bit 
maybe with like golden ochre just to mix it in a little bit just to make it a little bit more skin toned as opposed to it's kind of like a little bit stark white on me at the moment so i'm toying with both of those ideas at the moment next up we have golden ochre which is this one here last month i had six uses on this one and since then i have not used this shade again moving across the next one is vermeer now last month i had used this one seven times and since then i have used it an additional one time this shade here is bon fresco now this is a pen that i have hit since the last update now i used this one seven times last update since then i've used it an additional 11 times which has meant that i was able to hit pan moving along antique bronze now antique bronze last update i hadn't managed to reach the usage goal just yet i was sitting at only two uses since then i have used it an additional five times so i have surpassed my six uses on this one but now I need to go ahead and hit pan on this one. And I think it's going to be, I'm going to need to dedicate some solid usage to this one. It's definitely possible, but it's going to be a challenge, especially given that I am not in love with this shade. Um, I don't hate the look that it creates, but it's just not something that I am in love with. It's just like, it is what it is. Uh, moving along, we have Love Letter. Now, last month I was sitting at six uses and I haven't used this one since then. Then we have Cypress Umber. I used this one 15 times last month and I've used it one additional time since then. Now moving on to the second row, this one right on the end here is Raw Sienna. Last month I was sitting at six uses and I've only used it one additional time since then. Then we have Burnt Orange, which is the next shade along these two. I feel like they both don't need to be in the palette. They both look almost identical. But Burnt Orange, last month I was sitting at six uses and I haven't used it since uh, last update. And then we have Primavera, which I did manage to hit pan on last month. So I was sitting at 11 uses last month. I'm now sitting at 12 uses, which means I've used it an additional one time since then. Then we have Red Ochre, which is this, this one here, which already had a pan on it. And I've just been working on expanding the pan. Last month it had six uses on it and I haven't used it since then. Next up is Venetian Red. Now Venetian Red is one of the pans that I have hit since last update. So last update it was sitting at seven uses and I've used it an additional 12 times since then, which is a total of 19 uses and I have managed it pan. You can see that beautiful silver dot in the middle there. So I'm happy to report that I have hit pan on that one. Next one is Warm Taupe which already had pan when I started the project. Now, last month I used it six times and I haven't used it since then. And last but not least is Rialga, which I hit pan on at the last update. I used it seven times last update and I haven't used it since then. So that is how I'm going on this palette. I only have one pan that I need to hit on this palette. And when I hit that pan on antique bronze, it means that I have a pan on this entire palette. Every single shade in this palette will have pan when I hit pan on antique bronze. And I'm very happy with that. I think this will be the first and only palette in my collection that has a pan in every single shade in the eyeshadow palette. So I'm very proud of that fact. It's hard work trying to hit pan on every single shade in an eyeshadow palette. Like it's, it requires some work and some effort. I do think that maybe I might start thinking about maybe trying to use up some of the entirety of like some of the shades in this palette, just moving forward. That might be something that I will work towards. And I also think that maybe potentially I might start looking at maybe frankening some of the shades in this palette as well. So that's the plan on this one. I still have one more shade hit pan on. I'm hoping that it doesn't take too much more effort. We have a little bit of a dip going in it and it is quite like a satiny shimmery shade. So it's, it's like, 
it, it's like easy to use if that makes sense um so i also think that i might have a test with using this one as a nail polish i know i said that last month but i still haven't tried it as yet but i want to give it a try as a nail polish and maybe that might help me speed up the process a little bit because i do really want to have this one finished before the end of the year that's the goal so i am hoping that i can have that last pan hit by the next update in november so that's the goal that's the plan i will say given that, that i only have one more pan to hit on this one and i I have a feeling that it's going to happen over the next month. We are going to roll in four new eyeshadow palettes into this project for you guys to vote on. So voting is open. I am going to circle back down to level one. So keep that in mind. The next palette that we're voting on is for level one. So that means I only need to use every shade in the palette once and I need to hit pan on one shade in that palette. I am also going to continue to use this project as a means to get a pan in every single palette in my collection. So if I continue to work towards that goal, like we might actually have have it um, hit at some point in within like the next 10 years. Like it's gonna take me a long time to actually get to that point. I think maybe I'm almost at like 50% of my collection has at least one pan in every palette. So we're slowly working towards it, but it is, it is a challenge. So I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to bring up my little random wheel and let's see what the next four palettes are that you guys get to vote on. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to roll four. So we have the Sydney Grace Autumn's Rain palette, which is one of my favorite palettes, but let's see what else we get. Then we have, oh, the Wayne Goss Tourmaline palette. Oh, that's a single eyeshadow. I'm gonna have to roll again. That's the problem, this wheel also has my single eyeshadows on it, so we might. Uh, Glaminatrix U Beauty Palette, oh, that's a good one. And last but not least, please don't roll another single eyeshadow. Juvia's Place Nubian Palette. Okay, let me grab those out and then we'll go through and see what they look like. I've got my four palettes here, they're actually quite different <laughs> i think um so the first one is the wayne gloss tourmaline palette so just as a reminder we're circling back to level one so i will need to hit pan on one shade in these palettes and use every other shadow in the palette at least once so this is the wayne gloss tourmaline palette i actually think it's been a while since i've used this one let me rotate it around this way that's a bit easier so Wayne Goss Tourmaline palette. So this one is kind of like a neutral palette, but then it's also got like a little bit of like a ready tone in some of those shades. So there's that one. Then we have Clamonatrix U Beauty palette. This one is a beauty. This is a beautiful palette. This is what that one looks like. Got some beautiful shimmers in there, but also some really lovely mattes as well. The Nubian by Juvia's Place is like an all matte palette. So this one, sorry, not the Juvia's Place um, Nubian palette is a all neutral palette. So this one would be very easy for me to use on the regular, um, even though I only need to use them once. So I think that that would be very easy for me to hit that goal quite quickly. And then the single hit pen also, I don't think that would take me too long either. And then last but not least is the Sydney Grace Autumn's Rain palette. This is not a palette that I really love all that much, but I think in terms of like this particular level, given that I would only need to use them once and just hit pan on one, I don't think it would be that difficult for me to use it really. I just find probably like this, these four on the bottom here, like the shimmers are kind of like those blackened shimmers um, and they're like those really deep mattes. 
I just don't find them the easiest to use, but I would only need to use it once. So in reality, it would really be that hard. And then for the shimmer or for the single shadowed hip hand on, there's so many options or other options that I think that I could use quite regularly. So in reality, I don't think this one would be too hard to do for level one, but it's definitely um, not my favorite palette in my collection. So those are the four choices to pick from. So just to recap and go through it again, because there's a lot of different names here, we have the Wangos Tourmaline palette. I might put the names of these palettes down in the, um, maybe like as a pinned comment, I might pop the names of the palettes and that way you guys know what each one was. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian palette, the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette, and the Sydney Grace Autumn's Rain palette. I kind of have a feeling what you guys are going to vote for, but I'm excited to see which one wins the vote. So that is the four palettes that you can vote for for level one. We will be circling back down to level one. Um, probably, it'll probably start in December, I think. So that's how I'm going on my project level up. Make sure you let me know down in the comments how you are going on any of your projects that you're currently working on or any particular products that you're trying to use up in your collection. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you do want to keep up to date on this project. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, beautiful.